Welcome to Wired Hunt Weekly. I'm Mark Kenyon, and today I wanted to recommend three deep books that I think every hunter should read. Alright, so as I mentioned, today I wanted to share recommendations for three books that I think that every hunter should read. And you know, the typical book that most hunters are reading revolve around you know, how to kill more deer or how to be a more successful hunter. And I think these books are great. I read a lot of them too. But I think there's also value in a different kind of book. Those books that examine why we hunt, the ethics of hunting, uh, or the processes and the history behind all of it all. I think this is important because it forces us to examine you know, why we do the things that we do and how we do the things that we do. And in the process of all that, it also helps us better describe and share with others why we hunt and why we love this, pers this pursuit and this passion so much. And so because of all that, I think it's incredibly important to dive into this topic on occasion. And there's three books that I think do a really great job of doing that. So I want to recommend today, A Hunter's Heart, Heart's Blood, and Blood Ties. So first, A Hunter's Heart. And this is a collection of essays put together by David Peterson, and like I said, it's a collection of essays from a number of different authors. And this is really one of the best books I've ever read. Um, I've come to find so many things within the pages of this book that spoke to me. And I thought to share a little bit here, I'd read an excerpt from the introduction. When David Peterson first discussed this project with me, his principal concern was to bring together a collection of thoughtful, openly critical, unblinkingly honest essays, written in clear, elegant prose by people who are hunters, former hunters, or non-hunters, intimately knowledgeable about the subject. His goal, I believe, was to, rec to directly confront the hardest issues, and to nurture both ethical and environmental activism in an effort to preserve the hunt for future generations. Of course, authors represented in this book are a minuscule fraction of the hunting community, but they speak to a very wide audience of people who hunt, their families and friends, readers with a sympathetic interest in the subject, and citizens who oppose hunting but want to educate themselves about it. These essays are filled with information about the hunt, drawn from personal, political, historical, and scientific perspectives. But more importantly, they give a rich sense of what hunting is like from the inside, how it feels to cross over the wild edge, to track and stalk game, to experience the mingled sadness and elation that accompanies a kill, to carry out the necessary business of dressing and butchering and storing meat, and then to cook, feast, and celebrate the profound gifts that come from an animal taken within its environment. Next is Heart's Blood. And Heart's Blood was actually written by the same person that put together that collection of essays I mentioned in A Hunter's Heart. This is David Peterson again. And Heart's Blood is an examination of hunting, spirituality, and wilderness in America. Again, a really terrific book. And what I liked about this book so much is that it dives more into Peterson's personal opinions, thoughts, concerns about hunting and ethics. And he brings up a lot of great points that forced me to examine a lot of things about myself. Uh, but then he also dove into some interesting insight and studies and research into you know, how hunting really makes us who we are and how hunting formed the human species really to date. So again, a quick excerpt from Heart's Blood. Most modern hunters, good and bad, just want to hunt, not explore and debate why they do it and how they do it and what, other think, and what others think of them for it. Yet today, no thoughtful hunter can afford to just hunt. In order to defend what we do to ourselves, our families, our friends, and especially to an increasingly urbanized, denatured, domesticated, and virtualized populace, in order to improve hunting ethics and invite and inspire tomorrow's hunters and assure that hunting has a tomorrow, for all of these reasons and more, hunters must ask themselves, why? And we must answer honestly, for only by discovering the whys can we hope to influence the hows. And only by reforming the hows, where necessary, can we affect the essential change without which modern hunting is likely doomed and likely deserves to be. The next book is Blood Ties by Ted Carso. And this is another terrific look at the ethics of hunting, the culture of hunting, and everything in between. And it takes a look at three unique perspectives on hunting, which I won't dive into here, but really an interesting read that's going to force you to think, it's going to force you to take a deep look at why you do what you do and how you do it. So again, a quick excerpt from Blood Ties by Ted Karasov. When I first began to hunt, I assumed that the pole was born from the long hikes in the high country, 
the stalks, and the exciting closeness to large wild animals, an excitement that gardening could never reproduce. But when I began to gather wild plants for food and medicine, I realized that a far deeper compulsion than excitement was moving me when I hunted. Whether it's gathering meat or berries or roots, eating from the wild entails a different relationship with the earth than does agriculture. As a farmer, you reap what you have sown. As a hunter-gatherer, you reap what the land provides from her pagan solicitude. A different sort of work is traded, and another humility created when plants and animals you can't buy or raise build your flesh. So there you have it. Three deep books that I really think every hunter should read. A Hunter's Heart, Heart's Blood, and Blood Ties all will force you to take a deeper look at why you hunt and how you do it. And with that, I think it will make you a better and more appreciative hunter. And that is, of course, a good thing. So that's all i got for you today on Wired to Hunt Weekly. I hope you'll take a look at these three books, enjoy them, and stay wired to hunt.